Hey everybody, what's up? Christian and Cynthia, your Fit Prescription Pros, coming at you with our workout of the day. It is December 9th, and we've got shoulders, triceps, and core on the agenda today. Man, we got a killer shoulder workout today, guys. Three-dimensional delts is what we were after. Uh, we started off with a five-minute warm-up. You can see me pumping my arms there, just trying to get some blood into the shoulders. I got creaky shoulders, so the warmer they get, the better. Uh, after a little time on the treadmill, we wanted some more isolation work to really get the blood into the delts. So I think I just went with some five-pound dumbbells and did a variety of shoulder exercises in no particular order, um, followed by some stretching. Our first big power movement was seated Arnold press. And man, Cynthia was in beast mode today on these. I was like kind of embarrassed to work out with her. She was using weight close to what I was using. Um, I think she actually went into a drop set on this set. She went to the point of muscular failure with the heavy stuff. Uh, go ahead, went ahead and dropped it down to a lighter weight and continued to squeak out a few more reps. Um, there's several several methods we use to go beyond the point of muscular failure. One of them is drop set drop sets. Uh, sometimes we'll do partials or rest pause or force reps. But usually our one heavy working set we take it to muscular failure and then try to find a way to squeeze out a couple of reps beyond the point of failure. Uh, pro tip on this one, guys: full rotation on the dumbbells. If you're going to do Arnold press, get the full rotation. Notice when I start at the bottom, my palms are. Are actually facing me uh, and when I'm locking out at the top the palms are pointing straight forward um, if you do it that way you'll find you can use far less weight and man oh man your uh, delts will be completely engorged with blood after a few sets of those next was behind the neck press four sets of ten we went with the Smith machine this hits the delts a little different than the Arnold does uh, the Arnold presses are very front delt heavy uh, when you get that behind the neck press you really start to engage the medial delts uh, Smith machines great keeps it on a nice controlled plane you just have to take the time to get the seat in that perfect position so it's comfy for your shoulders next superset the idea here was to pre-exhaust the medial deltoids with lateral rays uh, get them nice and tired you know you want to get the medial delts kind of fatigued and then we went ahead and transitioned quickly over to uh, cable upright row you'll see that in a second uh, the idea behind that is if you pre-exhaust the medial delts with the lateral raise, when you go to do the upright row, uh, your medial delts will reach muscular failure before your biceps do. You know, your biceps are pretty heavily involved in this movement, so are your traps. Um, the idea is to fatigue the medial delts to the point that you're going to hit failure in the middle of that set with your, your medial delts rather than your biceps. Oh man, my delts were swollen. I insisted that she take a picture, <laughs> um, which she didn't feel too crazy about doing. Uh, standing unilateral rear delt cable fly. Man, that's a mouthful. That's one of Cynthia's favorite exercises for rear delts, complete isolation. You'll see there's no attachment on the end of the cable. She's just using her hand there, gripping the cable on the end. You want that, uh, that cable to come just under the chin, right across your neck. Tons of control. High reps works best on those for me personally. Next, we had front delt raises. Uh, we just like to go old school on these, man. A plate. Grab a plate. 25, 35, 45 pound plate. Um, a little bit up above eye level. This was Cynthia's first time, believe it or not, in 25 years taking those up above eye level. I've been trying to convince her to do it that way for years, but uh, we kind of had a little difference of opinion on that. Uh, I like to bring them up above eye level. She likes to stop parallel to the floor, but I win today. She's now doing it my way. Next, uh, front delt, rear delt superset. So we actually both began with the uh, front delt raises. Cynthia went to the cable standing, uh, standing cable fly for rear delts. And my superset consisted of a front raise with a 45 pound plate. I believe I was squeaking out about 10 to 12 reps. And as soon as I'd hit failure, I would go immediately to the chest supported rear delt flies. Guys, I love doing the rear delt flies with my chest supported. Again, you'll find you need much less weight. And if you really take control of the movement, you will isolate the rear delt completely. Very little traps. There's no room to cheat and use momentum with your body and kind of use your torso to oomph that weight up. So it does put you in a strict position. It will make you appear to be very weak, uh, but it gets the job done and targets the rear delts. Pretty awesome. Uh, what a great pump we had after this, this combo. Really, uh, the delts were popping. Um, dumbbell floor press was next. This was our first tricep exercise. 
dumbbell floor presses, you don't see folks doing these too often. Uh, when your elbow hits the floor, you've basically limited your downward range of motion to the point where your pecs do not get very involved. So this is really heavy on tricep recruitment. Um, pro tip on this one, keep the elbows glued to your rib cage. I like a one count on the way up, a two count on the way down, and if you really commit to not letting those elbows creep out away from your rib cage, oh my goodness, right in the belly of the tricep. I'm talking from the elbow all the way up to the armpit, and what's nice is you get a little bit of front delt work in there as well. Uh, next, we moved on to skull crushers. I won't even show you my set because I have two partially torn triceps that were never repaired. Um, extreme sports accidents, nothing to do with uh, weight training. <laughs> uh, doing stuff I shouldn't be doing on my mountain bike. Anywho, uh, four sets of 15 here on the skull crusher. Again, the pro tip would be to keep those elbows tucked in tight. Try to avoid them flaring out to the side. Cynthia doing a great job there. Next, tricep cable pushdowns. Many years ago, I said screw the 10 to 12 reps. I just could not get the feel I wanted in my tries, the pump. I do all my tricep work in the area of 15 to 20 reps. I get a great pump. My triceps grow just fine. Uh, and most importantly, I go a little bit easier on my elbow tendons. Overhead tricep rope extension, three sets of 15, not a heavyweight movement. Uh, next, we wrapped it up with some core work. We found this cool machine there called the Ab Core. Really gives a great range of motion. Hits the abs top to bottom. Uh, I think we did four sets of 20. Um, you have the option of putting weights on the back of the machine so it can either assist you or add extra resistance. And of course, we went with the resistance. Four sets of 20. Uh, we're just doing one core movement maybe three to four times a week, somewhere around four to five sets of each. Uh, once you're lean enough, that's more than adequate to maintain your core. You know, you don't need to keep building and building forever. So that was it, guys. 3D delts achieved. Awesome workout. Uh, we'll come back at you later in the week with another one. Have a great day. Great workout. If you need any advice or tips, give us a holler. We're here for you, team. Have a good one.